You got a boyfriend now. <laughs> you single, y'all, as a dollar bill, honey. Yes. What is up, you guys? I am back with another video. In today's video, I will be accomplishing this look by doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. If you want to see me rant about dating, rant about my new my, my life, what's going on, what's updating with T, then keep watching this video. But I did a simple look. Um my kind of everyday routine type of thing so yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you watch the end of the video because i have a huge surprise for you guys don't skip to the end of the video don't do that watch to the end of the video greatly appreciate it make sure you like comment and subscribe if you're already not a part of the glam for him we're subscribing this year. We discussed this, not going into it again, okay? Make sure you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and click that notification bell. Okay, guys, let's get right into it. Yo, I haven't did a chair get ready with me in a long time because, I don't know, I just haven't had much to talk about. Like, honestly, the last time I talked to y'all, I told y'all, well, the last time I chit chat, I didn't get ready, but I chit chat with you guys. I told y'all about my breakup, about graduating from school, all of that ooh, all of that good stuff so now i'm just kind of like updating you guys on let me put my hair back on what's been going on in my life so as y'all know i graduated from college with a bachelor's in criminology and criminal justice i'm very proud of myself and now i've just been working and waiting to walk because since we don't have a december graduation i had to wait like i got my diploma already which i will show you guys but it's already hanging up on the wall somewhere and Plus, I don't want to get no makeup on it. So I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Long Lasting Shaping Stick Foundation in the color Cocoa. So that's been great. Um, I've been stressed out kind of like thinking about my next move is what I'm going to do next. Um, I plan to just keep going to school like well not just only keep going to school but keep going as of right now and furthering my career. But since I want to be a lawyer, I have a long way to go. This is the Morphe brush M439. Since I want to be a lawyer, I have a long way to go. So my next step is my master's. So we'll get more into that later on. Because right now, I just don't want to talk about it because it's been stressing me out. So on to other things. Your girl, a skinny legend, okay. I'm working on being a skinny legend for the summer. I've been still working out, doing my thing with that, eating better. I took two weeks off. Which probably wasn't a good idea and I was just eating whatever I want and not working out. And I worked out today, y'all. And when I say, <laughs> my body was like, this what you get. <laughs> Ain't nobody tell you take two weeks off. It just was not a good idea. But I needed a little break and I just was, you know, I ever got to get in their moods where they're just like, I don't feel like it. But I made sure I got up today, worked out. I'm doing intermediate, in, intermediate fasting from 2 p.m no from 8 p.m to 2 p.m so that sounds like a long time but honestly it's not so my first meal of the day is typically a smoothie which is like a juice pretty much and then i don't break my fast but i do have black coffee in the morning and when i say black i do one sugar and a spot of creamer like that is it um i know people may think like oh that's a lot of sugar but i mean you've just fasted for all those hours you may need a little something in your system so yeah, that's what I've been doing as of right now. And I do one meal a day. This week in particular, I'm doing no rice, pasta, or bread. And those are all the things that taste good. Like, that's that's the thing. Those are all the things that taste good. Like, I come from a household where we eat rice, okay? We eat rice. We like pasta. We like all those things. I like bread. I like toast. I like bagels. So... I'm taking a break from those things this week just to make sure like well not just to make sure but just to cut some things out like everyone knows if you cut something you know you're gonna get some results so those are the things i'm cutting this week can i not twist my concealer anymore um so yeah and just working out three days a week my trainer left me he's playing football proud of him but it's like i need help granted like everything he taught me when he was here that's what i've been sticking to following those um drills and such the best of my ability i walk sometimes i may jog i may jump rope different cardio i always make sure i get cardio in because that is the quickest way to drop pounds like not saying other ways won't work but that's what works for me if i'm make, making sure i get my cardio in works for me and my body type 
as well as doing like weight training workouts so squats and leg lifts all of that stuff i do all of that i do abs although i ain't got nothing under the under the happy pouch i do all of that stuff so yeah uh, I know some people are wondering like am I dating like okay so my last chit chat I told you guys I am newly single well not newly but I'm single and am I dating y'all guys are nuts <laughs> guys are nuts like nuts like I am open to dating but dating with a purpose so like if you approach me on some nonsense don't even approach me like honestly if I want to date you I'm gonna let you know <laughs> I'm gonna let you know because dudes are nuts. I had this one guy tell me y'all he liked to be chased. I said I got asthma. <laughs> Period. He had to go. Dudes are nuts. Like, am I open to dating? Yes. Do I already know what I want in a guy? Yes. Am I looking for a relationship? No. I'm chilling. Like, I'm dating. I'm having fun. I'm knowing. I'm getting to know myself as I'm transitioning from being a college student into being a working woman in society. So I'm just like having fun and dating not being a hoe dating like this generation don't know what dating is i'm not sleeping around with multiple guys i'm not playing guys using them for food i'm dating like he told me like i like to be chased i said i got asthma like are you dumb like and when did that happen like when did our generation decide like guys should be chased i'm not saying you can't court your guy i'm not saying you can't spoil your guy but it seemed like this generation of men like want to to be wooed like what what are you saying right now hold on real quick i need my blending brush <laughs> okay i got my brush so like yeah like our generation is so different like it used to be like oh guys court girls like and then y'all be like oh shivery is dead no shivery just is the opposite like dudes we want to be taken care of like what i have no problem with spoiling a guy paying for dates get, getting him gifts and stuff like that's what you i feel like that's what you're supposed to do when you're in a relationship or even date or even dating but y'all dudes be wanting a girl to do the work like i'm not trying to say i'm all old-fashioned and i don't have pride when it comes to somebody i'm i'm truly interested in i have no problem texting first as long as you keep me interested in the conversation i have no problem asking how your day was first like that's fine that's easy that's the fun part but y'all do be wanting the good morning beautiful text like no or like oh when you taking me out like all right now get off my phone because never like to me that's very strange and i guess i'm old school but i would like a, a a guy to you know woo me romance me um shivery not dead like that's what i want i don't know about nobody else and i have no problem doing the same thing for him i love surprising my significant other i like taking planning dates and taking him out like that's fun for me like but it ain't gonna start that way like i like to be romanced and wind and dined and you know not chased but dang call the sister up has as she doing i shouldn't always have to call you and that's what i feel like our generation has come to like it's very prideful like oh if he don't text me i'm not texting him first of all says he's my husband and he don't even know us. i'm texting first hey <laughs> how was your day how are you but if I'm always doing it first, and yeah, there's the problem. Then I'm like, okay, let me take a step back. Like, I'm not about to court you. I'm not courting no guy. So if you're watching this and that's what you like, then cool. But I'm not courting no guy. I'm not doing it. And you can't make me. Period. Like, that was so... I'm sorry, y'all. My camera overheated. And apologize if the lighting is a little off. But Alexa, pause. <laughs> sorry if the lighting is a little off but since the camera overheated um i just went ahead and applied my favorite falsies which are the kiss wispy lashes they're just doubled up and of course i had a white eyeliner but as i was saying with before, before the camera cut me off like ladies like don't assume a guy knows because girl Ooh, I cannot talk and do bottom mascara. Now, what I'm not saying is, I'm not saying settle. Don't settle. Get what you want. Get all the 80% of what you want in your relationship. And he should be all of those things. And you should be able to view him as your 100. What I mean by you only going to get 80%? Meaning like, okay, he has everything that you love about a man. 
but I don't know. He does, he chew weird. Girl, that's the 20%. <laughs> like with me, let me talk about myself. With me, you gonna get everything you want in me, but that 20%, I, I got an attitude problem. <laughs> that's just it like dang you everything I need but your attitude like and I'm not saying it don't need to be worked on definitely working on it but I'm letting you know I'm not that passive woman so I can never be with a man who wants a woman that's passive that would be the 20% but for him he may like that he may like like oh yeah she's not gonna lay down and take whatever that's the man I need for me that's just how it go just like um you may have a man and he got everything but he is a little passive okay if you don't like that tell him that work with him on that like certain things to be worked on and then for those who watching this and thinking like oh yeah he may have everything but he may be short click off this video because you sound childish and if your 20 percent is superficial like how he look how he dress growing up clear out this video this is for the grown folks i'm talking to the, the the grown people who ready to really date and you know find spouses like your 20 percent should never be superficial like oh he's short though he's everything he his conversation is good he make money you know he love his mama but he's short though cook out this video <laughs> your 20 percent should never ever ever be in my opinion super like apparent superficial like unless they got bad hygiene because then that that, that turn off for me that, that ain't gonna work for me but if it's something like that could be worked on work on it that's another thing work on it and stop thinking everything gonna be quick like people be like oh like we've been talking for whatever he need to make me his girlfriend why why does he need to make you his girlfriend he's still getting to know you like you can't get to know nobody in a month like what's wrong with you i don't know you i don't know you and that's how i be feeling like i do not know you and i'm okay with not knowing you i want to continue to get to know you like what like our generation just weird like like oh it's been a month and he's still he's still trying to date me oh well, yes he don't know you like uh, i don't know maybe i'm just old school like i like getting to know somebody before i call him my boyfriend my man whatever i like knowing personal stuff about them like you don't even know me in a mom so i don't even use the l word like, I'm like oh i'm so in love it's been three months honey you don't even know that man <laughs> even know you to be saying i love you ciao i done made my whole get ready with me about dating and it wasn't supposed to be that but my makeup looks cute <laughs> like mm -mm. you don't even know that man he don't even know you and some people are gonna be offended by this and i don't care because it is the truth like you cannot say you love somebody and you don't know them because you don't know somebody how you gonna trust them if you don't trust them how you love them Dropping gems, dropping gems, <laughs> period, period poo. So if you think you in love already quickly in a month, ask yourself, do you trust them? And if, they, if the answer is no, then you don't love them. It's not possible. It's just not possible. It just don't work like that. Like, like, and I mean, trust them, trust them. Like with a shadow of a doubt, trust them. And that take a while, for me at least. Hold on. a while like for me to be like oh i trust you i don't know you to trust you Ugh. so to answer y'all question no i'm not dating period <laughs> period <laughs> i'm dating myself how about that does that make it sound any better but i will say this if you do follow me on instagram and you see me post somebody not your business if you follow me on instagram and you see me on vacation with somebody's son mind your business don't say oh i thought you were dating yourself okay i am but this is also the year of yes simple face what i always typically do you know natural glowy i really like that stick foundation it's like skin and just a brown lip liner gloss you know cute lash simple but that is all from this chit chat get ready with me guys like i will have a life update i've really been chit chat about a whole lot just catching y'all up on you know my life and what i'm doing working going to school the same old same old kind of getting this body together if y'all want to see what i eat in a day or like my workout plan or even like progress pics from like december till now let me know in the comments i will drop them down below if you want tips about intermediate fasting or even just 
I don't know, health, overall health. I'm not a genius, I'm not a pro, I don't know, I'll just do what works for me, but if you guys would like the tips, let me know. Also, let me know what you want to see in the comments for, you know, spring, summer, fall. Do y'all want to see try-on hauls? Do y'all want to see hair videos? Y'all want to see natural hair videos was under the waist? Let me know in the comments, but if you made it to the end, then you made it to the big announcement. I am doing a giveaway. The giveaway was announced before, earlier this year, but the giveaway is happening. We are on the road to 250 subscribers. Subscribers. Once I get the 250 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway. What's going to be in the giveaway? I'm not announcing soon. Once I see we're inching close, I will announce the rules, what's going to be in the giveaway. Am I doing international? Am I doing, you know, out of the state type things? I will have all that in my up and coming video. So make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. And if you're getting fancy, press the notification bell to know when I upload a video because you may miss the rules or, you know, what's going to be in the giveaway if you're not subscribed. Also, if you don't follow me at follow me on Instagram at S K I T T S underscore 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 five underscores to also enter the contest because the rules will be up there as well. But as you guys know, I love you so so so, so much, and I don't know. I need a new thing for the new year. I love you guys so, so much. Make sure you grow and prosper and be you because nobody else can. Like, just be you. Love you. That's the new thing for this year. Make sure you're loving on you, okay? That's, that's my new thing. I love you guys so, so much and make sure you love you. Mwah! Bye, guys.